Hello, hi everyone. So I am back after a lot many days. I have come to the YouTube channel. Now this particular video is going to be about are you ready for the exams? Yes or no? Come on. You need to answer with me. Okay. As you are with me, you, I, you can understand that those questions or those points which we are going to discuss in this small short video will be the points how do you strategize this last 14 to 15 days and during the exam what you're going to do okay this particular video is for the final and the inter cma students so make sure that you like share and subscribe because the more you share you can help one or the other person get benefited know about what things has to be done during the exam or before exam or post exam got it so before we go ahead, myself is CMA Vikita, your cost and management accountant. I mean, the uh, I am a faculty. I'm, I'm having a big passion for teaching. So I have come forward. I have got many, many doubts of many students asking about, ma'am, how do we go ahead? I'm getting stressed. I'm depressed. And uh, like, ma'am, uh, should we write in blue or black pen? Ma'am, will it be like an online pattern or will it be like an offline pattern? How the pattern of exam will be and so, so, so. Okay, so we are going to clarify all these doubts. Everyone, we are going to clarify all these doubts. You don't have to worry. Please make sure that you stay tuned till the end. Watch the lecture. Please, it is just for 15 to 20 minutes. I'm not going to take much time. I know it's a very, very crucial and a very important time for you to study. So uh, do not worry. But yes, watch the video till the end. Okay. So now, the first thing which we need to be very clear, very like, you know, first thought process should be we should be very positive. Our strategy for this 15 days and during the exam should be positive approach. Even if there are some questions or there are some small topics we have not covered, do not worry. Chill yourself, cool yourself, relax yourself. Do not try to cover them now because you cannot, you know, if there is some things which are very small, very, very small topics, you cover it. But if there is some topic like standard costing or working capital or a time, try not to cover it now. Just go over officially or try to cover the MCQs or the pits of that particular chapter. Got it? Now, like, you know, how do we become positive if we are not covering some small, small portions? We can be positive. We have to be positive. First thing is anyone who is giving you a call or any of your friends saying that, Are, did you study this? Did you study that? Did you study that? That page, that particular question, we are not able to solve. Can you solve it? If these are the questions or anyone saying you that you're not studying for the time period which is required, please make sure that you don't get those vibes to your, your scope. Why? Because you are listening to it continuously. You get negative vibes, you get worry, you get depression, you get tense, you get stressed out, which should not be in this last 15 days before exam. Mark my words, make sure that you are away from the negative approach of exam. I mean, if anything which is going against your thought process or against your um, scope, Please avoid it. Try to avoid it. Come out of that place and relax yourself. Calm your mind and say that, yes, I can do it. The more you tr tr say yourself and tell your heart and mind that, come on, I can do it. Come on, I can do it. I will do it. I will do it. I am possible. I am possible. Say it the number of times in a day when you feel negative. Trust me, it is a very beautiful way of ringing your own positiveness and working in the same line and the same way in the same guidance of how you are doing the strategy of studying before exam got it students all those who are watching it please make sure that you like it now and uh, please share it because it's very important i'm going to tell you some small points some 10 to 15 points i've jotted down for you people so before uh, so make sure that you watch it till the end here if you are able to see this is the cma inter final examination which we are going to have in this january 
this coming Jan. Okay. So uh, the strategy for exams, what are the points to be remembered? These are some points you should remember. I've jotted down these points down. Please check these points. First thing is 3R strategy is very important. What is the strategy? The strategy is revise, rewind and refresh. First thing is you need to continuously have a cumulative revision. The more you do revision of what you have read yesterday, day before yesterday, last week, 10 days before, it is more better. Okay. Try to do cumulative revision. Yesterday, whatever you studied, study it now for five minutes and again go for the next of today. Okay. Then third point, scanner. The scanner part should be completed where it covers all the past questions and the past question answers. Please make sure that you also cover the MTP, the set one already given last week, set two has been released also. So MTPs must be covered. Why? Because from the MTPs, you actually know that what can be the average or it can be a medium, it can be difficult, it can be good, it can be okay type of question which can be asked for our Jan attempt. Okay. Next coming is do not touch. It's a request. Do not touch new topics. If you touch, you get worried. So why do you have to touch? Whatever you have done, do it 100%. Okay. If, for example, you have completed, if, for example, you have completed 75% of the course, okay. Complete the 75% of the course of 100%. I mean the 75%, whichever you completed, do it to the optimum. Do all the questions of the study mat which we have. Do not leave study mat. Very, very important. There are students, what they do is they, they check with the CA Institute material. They try to take the CA faculty's uh, lectures. It's upon them. It's upon them. I'm, I'm having, I'm giving disclaimer that I'm not giving any uh, wrong opinion, but it is very important to complete our own study mat. Study mat sehi aega. It will come from the study mat. Questions purely come from the study mat, scanner, MTP, and the past questions and the workbook, which has been released by our institute. If you properly do it, you know everything and you can do it. Okay. Remember these points. Next, have a writing practice. Now, because we are almost in now, uh, I'm recording this on 23rd of uh, December. We are almost coming to the approach of Christmas. So Merry Christmas, everyone. But don't try to enjoy much because we have very less time. Now, what you do is around um, 27, 26 or 27, start writing, start writing, okay? Take one question paper of such as like past question paper, suggested questions and answers. Try to solve it. Sit for three hours, make an alarm or tell your mom, dad or brother or sister not to disturb you. Sit, write it. Without without having a phone or without having any tab or any social media, write the three three hours paper. Why why I'm saying why writing writing can actually help you understand where what your what your flow is where you're stuck and are you able to actually write what is required for our exam? Okay, so after writing. Check for half an hour, check the suggested answers, and then you can know whether where you are going wrong. Are the points which you have written is correct? Whatever you have remembered is correct way or you have to remember more. Okay, you get a clarity of what else can be done. Next coming is what uh, what we feel seeing the MTPs. Uh, the question paper will not be that difficult, but yeah, it will be a mediator or average average or average above it will be so you don't have to tense don't have to worry but yes even if it comes difficult you know everything that should be the approach mind set your mind such that yes i know everything then only you can give your exam best next coming is please if if for example you have you are watching my video and you're just saying that ma'am i'm not able to see uh, there are students who have texted me telling that ma'am it's been just one week i've started my course i'm not able to understand where what to do which is an important subject which is an important topics to be done of these subjects so it's it's very important that you find out what uh, this uh, good marathons the cma marathons we have okay in the youtube whichever marathon you're watching watch that marathon only till the end don't confuse yourself watching this marathon that marathon wasting your time don't do that okay 
Next, MCQs, bits, and uh, fill in the blanks, true or false. See, here I have done, if you see, okay. MCQs, true or false, fill in the blanks and match the following. Very, very important. So, we have it in our bits. Like, you know, there is one book which we have it in our uh, institute uh, mat also. It is being published. So, check that. Check that. Okay. After that, uh, the ninth point I want to discuss is workbook. Whatever workbook has been released, if you do that, that is more, more than enough. Don't get confused watching other lectures or other videos trying to do their, their uh, questions and so. If you are conceptually clear, any question comes can be solved by you. Just make sure that you are clear in your concept and logic because logic and concept will only fetch marks. Okay, even if in theory as well as practical. Now coming to the practical papers, please make sure that you attempt all the questions of the practical. You know, for example, coming to accounts paper, okay, what, what people do is they start solving it and for example, they are not getting the balance sheet match uh, is not, uh, they are not able to match the balance sheet, they get worried. They again waste time and then put more of logic into it and then do all rubbish there and then uh, like, you know, wasting time. And they're not able to solve it, nor they're getting the proper conclusion. So just relax. Try to do the next question. Try to do almost all maximum questions. The more you questions, like, you know, even if there is a choice, do it. For example, for example, if the examiner is good, okay, for example, and your luck is good, then you can happily get good marks. Why? Because if you have solved and if you have given a proper step-by-step -step process, then they give you marks. Step-by-step -step process is getting fetched marks, okay? So, remember that solve questions properly. I mean, everything should be solved. Don't leave it. Next, coming to journal entry types or anything which you have to do a marking or a, like, you know, a lines has to be done. Do lines. Presentation is important. Not that you have to take a scale and start doing it. Unnecessary wasting time, don't do. Okay, don't do unnecessary wasting time. Request. Presentation is important, but drawing and putting into colors and different pens and actually putting the proper lines, that is not required. If, if for example, that you have a very bad line sense, then use a scale. Okay, but all those who can simply draw a line or do a table or um, for the journal entry or in for operational management, assignment, linear programming, pro, uh, then simulation, these all pro problems are there, no? Simply, simply draw it and start doing it, okay? For example, in some questions, no, you need to write uh, uh, in uh, journal entry types, you need to write narration. If ta like, you know, better try to write everything I suggest that narration is something which is an additional part. If you write it, it's beautiful. If you don't write it, they're just going to leave one mark or two marks, not much. So narration can be done in the last. So whenever you have the last 20 minutes time, no, that time you start writing the narration and so. Next is uh, make sure that you are solving all the questions at one place. I mean, when you have a compulsory question, the first section compulsory question, the first question will be having some one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like this true or false or the match the following. These all will be there. If you are knowing first answer, second answer, you don't know, leave the space there. Leave the space there. And third, fourth, you know, fifth, you don't know, leave the space there. Then sixth, you know, seventh, you know. So when you leave the space, it means that you are going to write it before exam, before you end your end up your exam. Don't try to forget that uh, point, okay? So leave the space there. Whenever you remember that it can be a true, it can be a false, or it can be any answer, you write it whenever during your three hours. Next coming is the uh, next section which we have is out of four questions, write three. Out of two questions, out of three questions, write two. Those sections. What you do is you know first question very well. You write it. The second question, you know the first, uh, sec, uh, first second A, you know, B, you don't know. So what you do is if B is taking a half page, like if it is a three marks, four marks question, then you just leave that space and write it whenever possible within your three hours. If it is a 10 marks question or above five marks, then it's, it's requested that that particular two, 
A and B is suggested that you do this to A, B in the end after solving all the other questions. Okay. Do not get confused writing 1A, then again 2B, then 3B, then 3C. Don't do this. If, or if you're doing one first question, first question A, B, C, all the subsections should be done. If you're doing second question, second A, second B, everything should be at one place. Don't get confused. Don't confuse the examiner. Why? Because if you are not giving a proper presentation of A, B, C, the examiner can be of any mode. He or she cannot, like he doesn't have much patience, then he will never give you good marks. He will get confused. He will like say that Are, what, whatever they have written, let me give him one mark, two marks and leave it. So it will be a bad luck to you. So make sure that you remember this. Very important. Now coming to the theoretical questions. I mean the theory questions or theory subjects. What I suggest is theory subjects, uh, maximum it is law audit. Okay, so what do you do if it is a law subject? What you do is law language is very important and it can be only done when you are cumulative reading. Read cumulatively. Request is cumulative reading is important. 15 minutes time given for what you have written, what you have read, write it. Because you write, you know that what is the method of under, what is the method of your writing, what is actually required for our exam point of view. Okay, so how do you do? I have written understand understand the question properly. Then recognize from which chapter it has come. If still you are not able to second time read it, third time read it, third time you will surely understand. Okay, if you are not able to understand in two times. Then and write it, write the rule or the provision related to it. Okay, and then give your recording reason and suggest what should be done. If the question is asking what is the uh, method or what is the way uh, or what are the provisions required, give your answer. So this is the method you should write. Okay, theory questions, it's a big request. If questions are asked for two marks, just give the main answer and give if they have asked list or briefly state, then give the sub points. And if uh, if the same question is asked for four marks to five marks, you need to write the list as well as describe the list also. If you are not describing, they are not going to give you marks. And in theory questions, it is a simple request to everyone. Whatever you are writing, you know what are the keywords, underline the keywords. Why? The better you underline and better you brief out and write it. Brief out means not that, you know, you write Simply write profitability, solvency. You write this, no, they're not going to give marks. Sentence forming should be also important. But yes, the profitability keyword is important. Solvency keyword is important. Liquidity keyword is important for that particular para. Write properly. If five marks has, write a para. Or if five marks has, if you have to write some list, write six to seven. Why? Because you never know out of seven, seven cannot be correct. Maybe five can be current, maybe four can be current. So better write one or two extra. Got it? Next coming, uh, these are some things which I actually wanted you people to understand. Remember before exam, do not worry. Please, it's a request, do not worry. And one more thing, if anyone wants to join the MCQs, I, want to, I mean, you want to just recall and update yourself with MCQs before exam, we have got a, a Telegram channel. CMA, CMA, MCQs or bits for group one and group two. Okay, so you can just join and understand. You can also give your, like, you know, give your answers. We put MCQs every day daily. So there is some nominal fees. You just check it on in the Telegram. It will be very beneficial, beneficial for you to just brush your knowledge, whether you know on that subject or not. And it will be very, very easy for you. Why? Because for like you, there will be a number of like, you know, students who are giving your answers. So cold system, it will be, it will be good. Okay. Now, other than that, please make sure that you relax yourself, calm yourself because relax, calm mind is very important for exam point of view. Okay. Relax yourself, calm yourself, refresh yourself, meditate. It's very important. What students do is like, you know, day and night, keep studying, keep studying. And they forget about uh, uh, like own exercise, body, mind, relaxation. Very important. Meditate for five minutes or do yoga. You have any exercise. Winter season has come. Go out. Do like play badminton, play cricket. 15, 20 minutes. Kuch nahi hota. Karo. Please go. Exercise. Very important. Why? It will... 
circulate your blood and you will have fresh mood when you study no stress no stress remember my words no stress why because you know everything everything you have studied till now everything is there in your mind just you have to know that how you have to go ahead in this 15 days what should be the approach do not forget scanners is important mtb is very important and past exams past question paper suggested bring out the suggestions of last 4 years to 5 years why because i feel from the suggested only you will get answers questions repeatedly maybe the names can be changed numbers can be changed the the way of answer, uh, asking question can be changed but the theme is same is same remember cma institute focuses more on the study mat questions uh, the suggested questions mtps past questions if you are doing from any other material make sure that is being covered and it it is all covered from our institute material focuses institute material little bit institute language and the keywords very necessary writing practice more more necessary last 10 days so uh, you know everything this is what i want to say no stress you know everything believe in yourself very important believe in yourself you know everything trust yourself trust your thought process be positive always no negative approach be positive calm yourself just cool your mind yes it is required that you study for more than 12 hours because the more you study the hard work you do now you get a very good fruits the fruits are sweeter okay so please make sure that you study now this 15 20 days up to 12th or 13th of jan give your best think that it's not yours give your best trust me give your best you can do it you can do it prove yourself you should be a cma soon this is an video for inter and final students all everyone can share it it is easy if you share it it is good so uh, best of luck everyone and one more thing small questions are asked 100 marks paper should be attempted do not come before 3 hours do not try to come at 2 two, 2 two and 1/2 hours you're done and you're coming out no sit you can know you know it think about it recall the question read 10 times then you know the answer mcqs um, if you attempt mcqs for you know 20 25 marks are mcqs in the paper and if you get 23 24 in out of 25 it's beauty you will pass okay whatever points i told if you do it in that way literally you are going to pass okay so use blue pen very important okay have a pencil scale eraser calculator very important admit card are going to be released uh, very soon maybe on monday or tuesday you are going to get the admit card like 26th onwards we are getting to know so make sure that you check if you are not getting on 26 do not worry network issues will be there so 27 28 also you can check you will get the admit card and make sure that you do your arrangements of going to the center before half an hour of your exam if 10 o'clock go at reach by 9:20 okay have a water bottle don't try to be hurry and you know forget things eat properly and go if it is after lunch like 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock session make sure that you are done lunch by 12:30 12:45 have water and then take your related things have your plank all related things pens two three pens should be there you should have extra pens okay then attempt 100 marks use blue pen okay these are some things i would like to say so best of luck be positive is what is our approach so only positiveness be positive do not confuse do not talk to people who are confusing you do not talk to people who are saying negative things or they saying that aise aata hai waise aata hai the question is coming hard this that whatever leave it whatever the question is question is going to come and you are going to write answer okay so all all whatever you have read is going to come do not think that it is coming outside no if you are thinking like that that means you have not studied well so properly study calm yourself study relax positive stay happy always why because this happiness can create positiveness after creating positiveness you are not going to get stress no depression maybe some people are some students have a point like what happens you know uh, you study for the before two and half months very nicely last 15 days we get very low very dull why because we are like you know we get uh, 
irritation on the books we get irritation on that uh, chapters and some problems we are not able to solve we get irritated throw the throw the pen or paper and there no calm yourself relax yourself say yourself that all is well all is well all is well best wishes to everyone all is well god is there so make sure that you properly do hard work there is nothing that you cannot you can do it so you know everything believe in yourself rest up to god give your best believe in yourself rest up to god so this is about you know a small strategy video about the last like you know last 15 days how we go ahead for uh, our exams and during exams what has to be done make sure that you like share subscribe and like you know share many you can and help others because the more you help the better it is the blessings you get okay so all the best everyone and take care smile bye bye signing off tatas